Hi, and welcome to Season 2 of That's Roddy Mysterious, a podcast of short tales about true mysteries. What created the Potomsky Crater? Who was involved in the 1963 Great Train Robbery? I'm not going to solve those mysteries, but they'll be interesting to learn about. I'm your host, Kelly with an I. Transcripts and references for all episodes can be found at thatsruddymysterious.wordpress.com. No apostrophe and no exclamation point. Today's tale is about sudden savant syndrome. K.A. was a 28-year-old man with a high IQ from Israel. He was working as an attorney. One day he was in the mall, which contained a piano, when he suddenly just knew how to play it with little prior experience. He explained what happened. He said, Suddenly, at age 28, after what I can best describe as just getting it moment, it all seemed so simple. I suddenly was playing like a well-educated pianist. Before this, he could only play simple popular songs. He continued, I suddenly realized what the major and minor scales were, what their chords were, and where to put my fingers in order to play certain parts of the scale. I was instantly able to recognize harmonies of the scales and songs I knew, as well as the ability to play melody by interval recognition. After this experience, K.A. searched the internet for music theory only to discover that he already knew everything they had to teach. He had never studied music theory before. What is Sudden Savant Syndrome? Sudden savant syndrome is when someone with no prior knowledge of a talent suddenly is able to perform it better than the average person. It's an extremely rare condition with only 319 recorded cases throughout history. Sudden savant talents often occur in similar areas. The most common is in music, which usually presents by being able to play piano by ear almost always with perfect pitch. The next most common is in art, usually painting or drawing. Mathematics is another area which presents with fast calculations of difficult equations, often coupled with the difficulty solving simple equations. Some sudden savants have a talent for calendar counting. This is more than just knowing the day of the week on which a date falls, it's also being able to name all of the days of the week upon which certain events will fall every year for the next 20 or so years. For example, knowing that a holiday will fall on a Tuesday in three years. Having a knack for visual, spatial, or mechanical abilities is also common. Other examples include having a perfect appreciation for the passage of time without looking at a clock, having the ability to speak multiple languages without studying, and having outside knowledge of a specific area of study without having studied it. The most common abilities of sudden savants are called splinter skills. These are behaviors like having an obsessive preoccupation with and memorization of music and sports trivia, license plate numbers, maps, historical facts, or obscure items. Most sudden savants will exhibit some of these skills. For most people, their abilities will stay and improve over time, especially with practice. There are two kinds of sudden savants. The first is congenital. With congenital savants, their skills surface in childhood. Congenital savants always have an underlying disability, usually, but not always, autism spectrum disorder. Congenital savants are the most common, with 287 cases. The second type of sudden savant is acquired, which accounts for 32 cases. Acquired cases occur in people who were previously neurotypical and who suffered from a head injury, stroke, dementia, or other central nervous system event or disorder. After the injury, skills appear unexpectedly and sometimes at a phenomenal level. Prodigious savants are very rare. There are less than 75 of these people alive today. Prodigious savant refers to someone whose newfound abilities are at the level of genius, whether the person is disabled or not. A 2021 study identified a third type of sudden savant syndrome. There are 11 cases of this type. In these people, sudden savant syndrome occurs without any prior interest in their newfound ability or skill and with no apparent cause, injury, or disability. Most of these savants, 63.3%, live in the United States. 
The others live in Finland, Israel, Canada, and Japan. Four of the 11 identified savants with this type were male. The remaining were female. The most common type of ability within this group was art. Six of the participants had an ability in art alone. Two of the participants had abilities in both art and music, and one had abilities in both art and math. Their abilities were in drawing, painting, and sculpting. Two of the participants developed abilities in calendar calculation, one with an art ability as well. Three of the participants developed abilities in music, one in both piano and guitar, and two of them also had art abilities. MF was a 43-year-old female participant. She awoke one night in December of 2016 with artistic abilities. She explained that she felt the urgent need to draw a multitude of triangles, multiple geometric and triangular formations, which quickly evolved to a web of complex abstract designs. She said that she stayed up all night and into the morning with this need to draw, which she said continued for the next three days at an intense level. MF had no prior interest or training in art. She explained that by the third day, she had started a piece called the Mayan, which took two weeks to complete. She went on to explain that by the third month, she had completed 15 art pieces in styles like artists including Frido Kahlo and Picasso. MF is a real estate agent, but she also currently works eight hours a day on her art. She said, my art style is an ever-growing, perpetual vision, which leads me to create mandalic style art, sacred geometry, and mysterious creature beings all incorporated into art. Ideas are never-ending. It just flows so easily in my mind and onto paper. MH was also a participant in the 2021 study. He was a 31-year-old journalist stationed in West Germany between 1983 and 1985. While stationed there, he learned a little bit of German, but not much. He is able to say please, thank you, how much, and where is the train station. He was certainly not proficient in the language. He met a man in a bar and tried to have a conversation with him. The man told him that if MH had been stationed in Germany for 25 months, he could speak German. MH explained, he said that in an irrefutable declarative statement, and much to my amazement, I discovered he was right. Suddenly, for the first time ever, I understood everything he said in German, and I effortlessly replied in fluid German. For the next 15 to 20 minutes, we had a non-stop conversation. I understood and spoke German perfectly. MH explained that his ability did not last long, however. He explained that afterward he became aware of how strange it was that he had suddenly been able to speak German, and he tried to analyze how and why, but as soon as he did so, his ability vanished. Years later, M.H. suddenly became a savant on the piano. He explained that his mind had suddenly opened like it had in Germany, and that he began playing beautiful music. He said that he never hit an off or sour note, and that this ability lasted about 15 or 20 minutes. MH's experience was similar to foreign accent syndrome, which is also extremely rare and usually occurs after a central nervous system injury. This syndrome occurs when someone suddenly begins speaking with a foreign accent or in a different language. All of the participants in the 2021 study were asked about coincidental or collateral circumstances. Of the 11 participants, six had experienced some. These included two with spasmodic dysphonia, two with menopause, one with a fever, one with sepsis, one with early onset dementia and pernicious anemia, one with traumatic stress, and one with prior head trauma, which had occurred 14 years previously. The ages of those in the study ranged from 14.9 years to 79.8 years old. The mean age was 44.6 years, with a standard deviation of 15.9 years. The abilities took hold over varying time periods. For five people, it only took one week. For two people, it took between one and two weeks. 
For three people, the abilities took hold over the course of one to three months, and for one person, it took over a year for the abilities to settle in. Two people in the study had a familial history of sudden savant syndrome. Six of the 11 participants reported some change in memory following their abilities. What causes sudden savant syndrome? How is it possible to wake up one night with extreme talent in some area without any prior knowledge? What do you think? Thanks for listening to today's episode of That's Ready Mysterious. I'm your host, Kelly with an I. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a review and follow That's Ready Mysterious to be updated about new episodes. Tune in next Tuesday for another thought-provoking tale.